and my research interest is to develop smart algorithms to enable robotic systems to understand human behavior, perceive them, and interact uh, with them uh, efficiently and autonomously. Hello, Tech Timers. Welcome back to another episode of Tech Times Exclusives. Today, we have the pleasure of speaking with Dr. Oya Chelukdutan. She's the lecturer in robotics at the Department of Engineering for King's College London. Dr. Oya, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, thank you so much for inviting me. Nice to meet you, Chris. It's very nice to meet you as well. And uh, if you could, please, we'll jump straight in. If you could, you know, maybe give a little background about yourself and tell us what it is you do at King's College. Uh, sure. Um, so I am uh, Oya Chedutan and I am an assistant professor, which is lecturer in the UK uh, in the robotics group at the Department of Engineering, King's College London. Uh, before that, I did my PhD in uh, electric, uh, electronic engineering, electrical and electronic engineering uh, in um, Istanbul, Turkey, before coming to the UK, but also I worked as a postdoctoral researcher at uh, UK universities like um, Queen Mary University, Imperial College London and University of Cambridge before joining uh, King's College London. Um, my research interest is to develop smart algorithms to enable robotic systems to understand human behavior, perceive them and interact uh, with them uh, efficiently and autonomously. Uh, at King's, I have developed my own research group, which is called uh, Social AI and Robotics Laboratory. And the vision of my research group is to um, build social aware and responsible robotic platforms to assist people at home work and public spaces. And um, my team uh, works both in the theory of machine learning and its applications. Uh, to uh, human behavior modeling and human robot interaction. Oh wow, that is that is super interesting. Um, I feel like you are, you know, maybe pushing the the world towards a more what we would consider futuristic type um, existence. Maybe you know where we have these these robots that are, you know, not only assistants but maybe eventually would become, you know, almost like part of the family, I think. Yes, yes, part of the, to make part of our lives. Yes, this is our uh, vision and uh, ambitious goal. Well, it's fantastic. I think it's, it's incredibly exciting. Um, I understand that you have had some experience with um, the home service robots. Um, could you maybe tell us a little bit about how, how these HSR platforms will um, benefit research moving forward? Uh, so we have been uh, working with the HSR robot since uh, 2019. Uh, HSR robot is a service uh, robot, uh, and uh, it is a very nice platform. It's well suited to our research uh, purposes because it can move omnidirectional and it can grab objects of any size. Also, it is very important because one of our um, uh, goals and research ideas is to develop safe and reliable uh, algorithms for the robots, and it has a, a wide range of sensors uh, to enable uh, the development of such algorithms. So for the uh, HSR robots, we are working uh, on many from, uh, from multiple aspects to make the HSR robot autonomous. For instance, one of the topics that we are working on, how HSR can navigate uh, in so very crowded uh, environments, human environments such as uh, social events or airports or museums in a socially acceptable manner, how it can detect using its cameras, how it can detect people and groups and approach them in an appropriate manner. And also, uh, for instance, for making robots to perform some tasks and programming them is uh, extremely difficult. Therefore, one of the topics that we uh, focus on is how to develop algorithms to make robots to learn new skills or tasks by just observing people, human. Um, and also, uh, robots will be also part of our lives and they will assist us hopefully in the future. Uh, but uh, currently they suffer 
problems like uh, forgetting, catastrophic forgetting, because these algorithms, they generally based on deep uh, learning. And they are, once they are trained on a, a fixed data sets, when the robots start to interact in a dynamic human environment, uh, it needs to uh, evolve its knowledge and adapt this dynamic environment. Therefore, one of the topics that we are focusing on, how robots continually learn novel objects as they interact with their environment. But also another topic is this uh, algorithms and robots should be uh, explainable. And because we want to ensure also users uh, acceptance and trust uh, into the robots. For instance, how robots can explain their actions by taking into account their users' uh, preferences. These are the topics that are we are working around uh, HSR robots. Wow, that, I immediately started, as you were explaining, I couldn't help but to um, remember the, the movie iRobot. Like, you know, where these, these robots are you know they're running errands they're buying groceries and then you know they 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 are able to interact with people as in a sense to where almost like a, on an emotional level you know they may make an apology or make a suggestion based on how their their um, their person is feeling so i think it's it's um you know it's so like I said before, it's um, almost like science fiction is now becoming science facts. Yeah. Uh, so this is this is uh, actually this is the, of course to be able to make robots uh, to use in these environments. There are a lot of challenges that we need to overcome uh, because also to for instance, societal and ethical issues and making the to handle, for example, privacy, fairness, and transparency. Uh, of course, there is a very, very long way to go to see the robots. Uh, they are really being uh, deployed uh, in real human environments. That's the or overarching goal. But of course, there is any many um, steps that we need to overcome before uh, able to make this. Right. So I understand that that um, you know there was a, a recent trial with uh, with a gentleman in the UK, um, Mr. Anthony Walsh. Um, could you? Maybe give us an idea of how uh, a trial of this, um, a trial like this, will will help to to push this technology forward. So uh, for us, uh, for our research uh, purposes, it was a unique opportunity to see the challenges when robots will progress out from laboratories into real human environments, such as our homes. And also it helped us to see and understand user needs and uh, preferences because people with, living with MMB, they have uh, special needs. Mm -hmm. And also help us to shape the for research directions to develop effective algorithms that can be really used to assist uh, humans through uh, robots. Uh, and also, uh, it, it also had us to understand the user, as I said, user to, to make this kind of technology to be successful, we really need to ensure the user acceptance and uh, trust in, into the robots. And it also helped us to observe uh, user acceptance. And uh, luckily, uh, the robot was uh, being uh, adopted by Anthony and his family very quickly. And it is very motivating for us. And this is very promising. And because it demonstrates that robots like HSR can really uh, be used uh, to provide companion care for people living with MMD. It can really offer some independence and enhance the quality of life uh, of uh, their life and as well as their carers. Okay, well, I understand. I, I had a conversation with uh, Mr. Mark Van Look, and he said that during the trial, there were some, some singing and dancing, actually. Yes. So maybe you could, you know, since, since you're more on the, the, the technical side, uh, maybe you could explain to not only myself, but also our viewers, um, exactly how that is possible. So uh, during the trial, 
the robot was uh, remotely controlled by my PhD student, Victor. So the robot was not acting autonomously. Oh, because okay. as I said, we are not at that stage yet to be able to to use robots in human environment in a safely and reliable mm -hmm. manner. As I said, that we need to uh, overcome many challenges, uh, like making them fully autonomous and safe, and also the ethical, we need to consider the ethical and societal mm -hmm. issues as well. Uh, but um, so uh, dancing, so there are, but I can give you an indication of the state of the art uh, because there is already a lot of research going on mm -hmm. uh, modeling how, for example, a robot can generate uh, gestures or other generate gestures. For example, uh, when we speak, we create this kind of uh, nonverbal cues. For example, one of the topics that we focus on, how robots can generate uh, co speech gestures mm -hmm. uh, to make the interaction more natural and understandable by their users. But also there is a lot of research, for example, how robots can uh, create dance movements or avatars can create dance movements even uh, music. So there are already uh, some algorithms doing that. Okay, well, yeah, this is this is very, very exciting stuff. Um, so how do you, you know, and not, I don't mean when I say in the future, I don't mean like in the near future, but how do you see, or do can you imagine a point in time when the this technology that you're working on has has really reached the the highest level that it can what would you consider that space to be in the evolution of this technology uh, so there is so first of all the fields of human uh, robot interaction and social robotics uh, is evolving and growing very rapidly and uh, i envision in the future the robots will be able to uh, do all the actions autonomously. They will be able to autonomously perceive humans and understand the human behaviors and interact with them in a fully autonomous manner. Uh, and um, this is the highest, uh, <laughs> yeah, highest level of full autonomy to, oh. to interact with people. Yes. Right, and it become you know like not that you're. Yeah, I, you know, I completely get it. And it's very exciting to think about a time when, you know, you may be, I don't know, shopping at the grocery store and, you know, you you accidentally bump someone and it's just, you know, it's a robot that's also grocery shopping. You know, so it's very exciting to think about, you know, so oh, I'm sorry, oh, it's okay, the whole, the pleasantries and all that. It, it's very, very exciting to think about. So you said that 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 your your company, correct, is um, Social AI and Robotics Lab. Yeah. So my research group. Social Are your research AI group? And robotics okay. lab. Yes. So, is there anything that you could maybe give us a sneak peek as to what to expect from from your research group in the future? So um, for participating uh, in this trial was very exciting for us mm -hmm. and. Um, uh, it was uh, even uh, with the video also, the, uh, it, it received a very positive feedback. Mm -hmm. After the video released was released, I have been approached by uh, people with uh, motor neuron disease and their um, relatives and friends and family members. And they expressed their support and appreciation uh, for all research efforts. Uh, this is extremely motivating. And um, in, in general, it is uh, to be able to help people through technology is very important. Therefore, we will continue working very hard to realize this vision. And we will be focusing on more assistive technologies and how robots can really help people uh, with special needs. And we will focus on developing a novel and effective algorithms to make HSR perceive and interact with humans autonomously. Okay, well, and I, I love it. I think it's I think it's great. It's very, very, very exciting stuff. Um, Dr. Oya, thank you so much for for joining us today. It was very nice to meet you and very very nice to learn about your research and and how you guys are really pushing forward to to help those that that need it most. Um, please if, feel free anytime to to come back and chat with us again. Thank you so much for inviting me again. It was a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you. Very well. Okay. See you next time.
you just watched a Tech Times exclusive. If you enjoyed the conversation, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and share the video. Be on the lookout for upcoming exclusives with the world's most innovative tech companies. See you next time.